Alright guys, first and foremost, I'm not going to pretend like, uh, like I'm some master at this, uh, at this, uh, editing and highlighting shit. I do my edits from time to time, but it's hard. I went through all these fights. It took me days to do this shit, <laughs> and I'm not even very happy with it. So, that 25 seconds of your life wasted. Let's move on. Uh, this this video was spurred on by a conversation that I had in the comment section with Check Left Hook after my uh, Chad Dawson versus Bernard Flopkins post fight. I haven't changed my mind about that, and I doubt he has either. But what came of the argument turned out to be well, something did come come good. At, something good did come out of this fight because maybe if we uh, look past what happened and see the division as a whole, if we could, um, there's a lot of drama to be had in this division. You know what I mean? Like, I have no interest in seeing Chad Dawson versus Bernard Hopkins again. I do have interest in seeing Chad Dawson versus Pascal. We'll get to that later. Right now, I want to talk about Tavoris Cloud. Man, I enjoy the hell out of watching this guy. Uh, he's not the most skilled guy around. You know, we can't say that about him. But one thing Tavoris Cloud brings is pain. Tavoris Cloud brings the hurt. He put the hurt on Glenn Johnson, y'all. How many people can actually say they put the hurt on Glenn Johnson at 175 or 168? How many people? Like, zero. <laughs> you know what I mean? He brings the hurt. Bad. I mean, look at this. Watch. Just, just watch. God damn it, doesn't that look like it hurts? And this one hurts even worse. <laughs> oh. oh, here we go. And then there's the, oh. I mean, he just hurts you. You know what I mean? So I'm ready to see him. But there's a, uh, I want to see him fight some more. He's got to fight some more. Glenn Johnson and, and Yusef Mack it ain't good enough for right now. I mean, Glenn Johnson was, but he needs to fight some more people. So I want to see him in this mix. And we move on to Nathan Cleverly. All right. I can appreciate uh, dude's skill, man. Um, I think he has a nice right hand. Um, and I thought he had a good fight with Bellew. Uh, perhaps Bellew should have been below his level, but, you know, I can respect both these guys for that fight. Cleverly has had some other fights, too. This is just the one I managed to get clips of. Regardless, um, Cleverly can bang, you know. Uh, I don't know what else to say about him. I haven't seen enough to really have, like, a huge huge amount to say about Nathan Cleverly, but I'm less skeptical than I was before the Bellew fight. Even though I expected Nathan to win by KO, um, Bellew was just too tough. And Cleverly showed me some, some toughness and some grit that I'm starting to find in a lot of European fighters now. So uh, I'd like to see him in the mix. I hear he's fighting Shumanov next, and uh, Shumanov's awkward. That'll be a real good test of his skill. Okay, uh... Moving on, though. Hold on. I don't want to... Oh, yeah, okay. This is another guy I really want to see. Ishmael Silak. Now, there's not going to be a whole lot of highlights here because I can only really find the Dispain fight. But, dude has some massive skill. All he needs is experience. But, uh, he's very promising. And, uh, maybe him and Cleverly can get it on after Cleverly beats Shumanov. Maybe. Maybe. It could be. Maybe maybe Ishmael Salak and Tavares Cloud could get it on. Those, I mean, all these fights are good. So far, these three people in the, in the same division, they're all fucking good. You know, in their own way. They each bring something different. So, in, in my opinion, Salak brings some of the best skill to this division. I mean, look. I mean, he has a... I mean, he, look. He just finds the opening. He's playing a little bit. I mean, bam! He's got good distance, good punch placement. I mean, he was toying with the Spain, and and I thought the Spain was going to give him some rough rough trouble, but he just basically toyed with him for ten rounds, and the Spain just by pure toughness was able to survive and not get knocked out. All right, here we go, Chad Dawson again. Um, yeah, I really want to see him fight uh, Jean Pascal in the rematch. I think it was a good fight. I know Pascal won, uh, but Chad Dawson sh showed me two things in that fight. He can, he can, you know, he can fall apart in the middle of a fight. He can get hit a lot by a guy like Pascal. But he also showed me he's really tough. That cut was nasty. And uh, I'll try and mouth it at the end what I think he's saying to the ref when he got cut. But it's 
pretty tough. I think he wanted to continue. Anyway, let's take a look. I mean, this was really some back and forth action. Here you see, you know, there was some, you know, and here's Pascal. Bam! You know, but Dawson takes it well. He doesn't really falter in this fight. And when he really, really starts getting clocked, he really, you know, he feels a need to come back. I like Chad Dawson. Chad Dawson is probably my favorite in this division. And, uh... Let's, I won't even talk about the old man anymore. You know, I'm not even going to get into that with y'all right now. My opinion hasn't changed. It's not going to. But you see what I mean? He gets hit. He gets worked on. But he comes back. And uh, I think his his lapse in judgment in, in some of these rounds is really what lost him this fight. Not necessarily Pascal won it. But Chad Dawson lost it. If you If you catch my meaning. Now, I could be wrong. Pascal could be a lot more skilled than I give him credit for, but uh, to me, he's a he's an ambush fighter that really, you know, he it's like he tries too hard to make some of those punches go through, and he leaves himself open a lot. But he's powerful. I mean, he did catch Dawson a bunch of times. He did win the fight, but like I said, it was more to me about Chad losing it than Pascal winning it. Anyway, but, you know, Chad Dawson feels some urgency now. You know what I'm saying? And look and look what he can do when he feels that urgency. Look at that. I mean, his, he just, he can just do it. He can, I don't know. I don't know. I really like Chad Dawson. I admire his toughness. So, I want to see all these guys, even Pascal, I want to see all these guys getting more in the mix of it. You know how hot this division can be? Even with Shumanov, he's so awkward he can give people problems. You know what I mean? I just... I just really want to see these fighters fighting each other. And, and uh, I think when we all worry about Manny and Floyd and Amir Khan and all these top names now, we're forgetting about fights like these, who, who you know, fighters like these even, who can give real good fights. And let's see what he's really saying. What's he saying? Look at that. Look at that fucking, look at all that blood. It's just dripping, pouring out of his eye. Give me one more round. I think that's what he said. Just give me one more round. Just one more round. Just one more round. This was the 11th. You know what I mean? That's toughness. He's like, fuck this eye. Fuck this cut and all that shit. Fuck it. Just give me one more round. And I think if he'd have got one more round, it might have been a different fight. But that's all speculation. I want the speculation to end. Let's see some fights, goddammit. <laughs> this is Naptown Born. Deuces.